Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, no doubt a, a challenging forecast for Sunday. Now, storm is likely, accumulations of snow likely, several inches of snow likely, but really nailing down the specific amounts. You know, tomorrow's a whole nother nice day, and that means there's just more data coming in. So uh, check back with us tomorrow morning, tomorrow night, and uh, we'll certainly give you the hour by hour outlook as to how things are going to play out. Of course, we're going to give you some numbers tonight, give you an idea. I still think we've got uh, decent snow on the way. In the meantime, it is quiet. Now, we have a lot of humidity in the air. The visibility is pretty good in Newport, but other areas do have some fog like Smithfield. So this is just a tip off that there's moisture in the air and some of the roads are still damp. When the humidity is high, it's hard for the roads to dry out. So you have humidity in the air, a little bit of fog, and you also have temperatures near or just below freezing. So I have to watch for some isolated areas of black ice. If you know of someone that's out traveling now, maybe send them a text. Let them know that there's some patchy ice out there in some areas. In the meantime, threat tracker, overnight tonight through daybreak. We'll keep it elevated to yellow, not because of a storm or snow, but just for some of those isolated uh, icy areas. Saturday's a beautiful day, and then all eyes on Sunday. Pinpoint weather alert. Coastal storm likely with snow and accumulations. I've um, updated the accumulation forecast. I'll show you that right now. And here's the deal. This is the amount we expect by Sunday evening. A general 5 to 9 inch snowfall. Remains to be seen if we get any mixing across the lower Cape in the southeastern Massachusetts. If that happens, the amounts are a little lower there, but there you go. Certainly want to check back for updates uh, tomorrow morning and tomorrow night to see if this has to be adjusted up or down, but going with a statewide uh, five to nine inches of snow. In the meantime, rain from today is well offshore. Skies have generally cleared out, so the two weather players, actually there's a bunch, but the two main players that we're watching, one across the northern Rockies and one across the Gulf Coast, and both will sort of work in tandem and join together to help initiate this developing storm off our, off our coastline. And how these two sort of merge and when will dictate the exact storm track. And of course, that makes all the difference in the world as far as how much snow in your backyard. Let me take you into the future next uh, couple of days. And you see both of these pieces coming together. Now, this is Saturday night. We're dry. And then watch how the area of low pressure starts to form. There it is. Tracking off the coastline. This is Sunday afternoon at about 2, 3 o'clock. The shield of dark blue is actually heavy snow. And the green is some rain mixing in across the outer Cape. So this is when the bulk of the snow will occur from roughly late morning and into Sunday afternoon. Let's just skip over Saturday. Saturday is just, it's sunny, it's cool. So let's just jump ahead to Sunday. This is Sunday, 5 a.m. Leading edge of the snow is arriving between 8 and 10 a.m. Sunday morning. The darker blues indicating a moderate to heavy snow Sunday afternoon. Sunday evening at 5 o'clock, still snowing. Green represents maybe some rain mixing in across the outer Cape. And then by 9, 10 o'clock, it's pulling away. So it's a fast system, but here long enough to produce a general of 5 to 9 inch snowfall. And again, check back. In the meantime, it's beautiful both tomorrow morning and tomorrow afternoon. We've got sunshine. It's a breezy and a cool day. Temperatures topping out. Well, by late morning, it's near 40. And during the afternoon, upper 30s to around 40 with a good deal of sunshine and, and pretty comfortable. So not bad for this time of year compared to what's ahead on Sunday. And there's your storm at 34 degrees. Very active pattern, decent on Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday of next week. Mike and Shannon, more precipitation, more weather systems and storms. We will take one at a time and we'll concentrate <laughs> on the one coming up uh, for Sunday. But I do anticipate some uh, fairly poor travel by uh, Sunday afternoon. People will be home just watching the game right here on WPRI 12. Wings and Doritos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, Tony. Right. Caught on camera, 